up everyone? My name is Emily Powell and I'm going to share with you an unpopular opinion that I have about one of the most beloved sitcoms possibly ever, but definitely of our time, and that is The Office. Now, we could get into lots of reasons as to why the show is so good. The characters are so lovable, the antics are so memorable. It's really easy to love The Office, which is why a lot of people put it as a character quality in their dating bios, which is, does not count, okay? It doesn't. Stop putting it there. Get a personality. Boy, have you lost your mind. Moving I'll on. You find it. However, it's hard to have an objective opinion about this show when you keep looking at it from the lens of this show's perfect, nothing's wrong with it, I don't, I don't understand why anything would be wrong. Well, there is a lot of things wrong. Number one, and I mean this in the most respectful way possible that I can say it, Jim and Pam suck. That's still going on? I will claw your tiny nose off. Dwight and Angela are a better couple than Jim and Pam. There it is! I said it! That's my unpopular opinion, but before you get mad and all hot, just know that I'm coming with receipts. Let's go through the list. Number one, Pam is a chronic embezzler who stole 41k per year from the time that she declared herself office administrator. Number two, Pam's passivity and blame shifting almost leads to the end of her marriage and she has an emotional affair, her second affair, with Brian. Number three, Jim moves to another city to chase his dream, leaving behind his wife and daughter and doesn't come back until he almost loses Pam to another guy. Yeah, Dwight and Angela had a hijinks, but not while they were married with a kid. I will raise a hundred children with a hundred of your lovers if it means I can be with you. Number four, Jim bought a whole house without consulting Pam. Am I supposed to think that's cute? Do y'all know any couples? Dwight did kill Angela's cat and they had their issues too. Who do you want to be like? Jim and Pam, 100%. Who should you actually be like? Dwight and Angela. Thanks so much for spending some time listening to my unpopular opinion. If you disagree with me, if you want to debate this topic a little bit, go ahead and contact me at the email below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Join me next time as I talk about the true shining example of what a real relationship should look like in this series. And that is Michael and Jan. <laughs>